Kitchen action, kitchen action, come with me and let's explore. Kitchen action, kitchen action, come with me through the open door. Kitchen action, kitchen action, let's get into God's Word. Hey, welcome to Kids Connection. Yeah! Well, today Fred and I thought that we'd go for a little swim and talk to you about water. Hey, Tommy, did you know that 71% of the earth is covered in water? Wow, that's cool, Fred. Did you know that water is what makes up most all living things? Why, without water, plants, animals, and people would all die. Yeah. And worse than that, without water, I'd have no place to swim. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. Water is very important. In today's Bible story, Jesus uses water as an illustration. He teaches the Samaritan woman about her need for the living water. That will save her life. Whoa. Yeah. So listen to our story about the living water. Our story is found in John chapter 4, and we'll begin with verse 5. It tells us, So Jesus came to the town of Samaria, called Sychar, near the property that Jacob had given to his son Joseph. Jacob's well was there, and Jesus, worn out from his journey, sat down at the well. It was about noon. A Samaritan woman came to draw water. Give me a drink, Jesus said to her because his disciples had gone into the town to buy food. How is it that you, a Jew, ask for a drink from me, a Samaritan woman? She asked him, for the Jews do not associate with the Samaritans. Jesus answered, If you knew the gift of God, and who is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would ask him, and he would give you living water. Sir, said the woman, you don't even have a bucket, and the well is deep. So where do you get this living water? You aren't greater than our father Jacob, are you? He gave us the well and drank from it himself, as did his sons and livestock. Jesus said, Everyone who drinks from this water will get thirsty again. But whoever drinks from the water that I will give him will never get thirsty again. In fact, the water I will give him will become a well of water springing up in him for eternal life. Sir, the woman said to him, give me this water so I won't get thirsty and come here to draw water. Go call your husband, he told her, and come back here. I don't have a husband, she answered. You have correctly said, I don't have a husband, Jesus said, for you've had five husbands, and the man you now have is not your husband. What you have said is true. Sir, the woman replied, I see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, but the Jews say the place to worship is in Jerusalem. Jesus told her, Believe me, woman, an hour is coming when you will worship the Father, neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. You Samaritans worship what you do not know. We worship what we do know, because salvation is from the Jews. But an hour is coming, and is now here, when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Yes, the Father wants such people to worship Him. God is spirit, and those who worship Him must worship in spirit and in truth. The woman said to Him, I know that the Messiah is coming, who is called Christ. When He comes, He will explain everything to us. Jesus told her, I, the one speaking to you, am he. Just then the disciples arrived, and they were amazed that he was talking with a woman. Yet no one said, What do you want? Or why are you talking with her? Then the woman left her water jar, went into the town, and told the people, Come, see a man who told me everything I ever did. Could this be the Messiah? They left the town and made their way to him. Now many Samaritans from the town believed in him because of what the woman said. When she testified, he told me everything I ever did. So when the Samaritans came to him, they asked him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. 
Many more believed because of what he said. And they told the woman, We no longer believe because of what you said, since we have heard for ourselves and know that this really is the Savior of the world. Cool story, Tommy. But uh, the Bible said the woman was a Samaritan. What's a Samaritan anyway? Good question. Well, a Samaritan is someone from Samaria. But there's more to it than that. The Samaritans were Jews from the north. And as you may be able to tell from our story, the other Jews did not like the Samaritans. One reason, as the story tells us, is that the northern Jews stopped coming to God's temple in the south and made their own places to worship God in the north. Well, if the Jews didn't like them, then why was Jesus talking to her? Uh, that's just it, Fred. The woman was asking herself that question. That's why she said, why are you, a Jew, asking a Samaritan for a drink of water? But Jesus loves everybody. Jesus loves her even though she was a Samaritan. Jesus also loved her even though there was sin in her life. Hey, Tommy, what is the living water that Jesus talked about? Well, we talked about how water is what helps everything to live, plants and animals and people. But even though water is good, you will always need more of it. Jesus said that when you have the living water, you will never be thirsty again. Jesus was using the living water as an illustration of himself and how he will give all the believers in him eternal life. So Jesus is the living water? That's right. Jesus is the Messiah. That means Savior. Just like we need water to live, we need the Messiah, the Savior, the living water to have eternal life and save us from our sins. Bonus time! Woohoo! Hey, Fred, I really enjoyed going for a swim today. Yeah, me too. The water is great. Hey, where can you find an ocean with no water? Uh, I don't know. On a map. <laughs> On a map. That's pretty good. Hey, hey, what kind of rocks are never underwater? Uh, I don't know. Dry ones. <laughs> uh, dry ones. Hey, uh, why are some fish at the bottom of the ocean? Uh, I don't know. They dropped out of school. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> hey, how about this? Why were the students' grades underwater? Oh, uh, I don't know. They were below sea level. <laughs> oh, that's pretty bad. Hey, what are you going to do next? Say goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Uh, hey, hey, what do you think about my goggles? Uh, are you fishing for a compliment? <laughs> yes. Oh, they're pretty good. Let's go.